and I'm very happy to be here at South High. My daughter was a tiger, and this is a backbone of our community here. Thank you to the South High staff and administrators. We are blessed tonight with many distinguished guests. Commissioner Copps and Clyburn from Washington, Senator Franken and many others. But the real blessing tonight are those of you who've come to be part of this discussion, this process, and those of you who will have the privilege of watching this on the internet live or at some point in the near future. We're gathered to share, we're gathered to help shape the future, as many others have done. Across the river is an incredible exhibit at the Science Museum of the Dead Sea Scrolls. How many of you have been able to go over and take a look at that exhibit? It's amazing, right? It's amazing. But it has important lessons for tonight because it reminds us of how old and how important has been the efforts of societies to preserve communications, to preserve stories, to preserve their history, and the struggles that have been part of that, the attempts to crush the Hebrews and the Israelites of thousands of years ago by taking their stories and destroying their communications and how much people put effort into making sure that they could preserve, protect, and sustain their stories, their culture, their history, their communications. There are lessons in the Dead Sea Scrolls for the discussions we will be engaged in tonight and that we will continue to be engaged in as we talk about shaping the internet for the future. That young man who is here tonight to keep an eye on us, to make sure that we're not forgetting the past and that we're not forgetting the future. That's as good as it gets. Given the central role of the internet and this communications platform, the digital platform, uh, we've had a lot of other, uh, you know, different kinds of ways of communicating, parchment and, you know, animal skins, but okay, so now we have some new ones. How central it is, we know. The way it connects us to our healthcare information, to our loved ones in Iraq, to our banks, to our community. Um, we don't need to be reminded of how important it has become. But we have to remember sometimes how important it is for all of us to be part of shaping that because it's that gift of democracy, that gift of freedom, that gift of participation in the shaping of our futures that's the unique part of our culture that gives us this opportunity to come together tonight. I always like to remind audiences when we do gather that it's part of our Constitution and our Bill of Right to do this. Let me just quickly read our First Amendment just so we remember tonight part of it. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. We are here tonight because people fought and died to free us from Britain and to then create not another monarchy but a democracy not a perfect society, but one whose aims were for liberty and justice for all, who had the good sense to create a Bill of Rights so that they could be clear about what were our privileges and opportunities, and we have inherited this gift, and our responsibility is to never forget. Our responsibility is also to be good stewards of that gift of democracy, and our obligation is to make sure that that gift is in good shape, is in better shape when our children and their children and those who we don't even know about are here and are wanting to celebrate and to take advantage of those same opportunities. That's one of the reasons we're here tonight. We have built other means of communication and connecting ourselves in this country over time. The phone system, the telegraph system, the railroad system, the internet system. Um, you know, we have highways running all kinds of places. And we've, uh, we've been kind of amazing in what we've been able to accomplish. Occasionally we forget and we stop being good stewards of those systems and sometimes then a bridge goes down because we failed to be a good steward of a gift that we've received from others and we haven't taken care of it. Tonight we'll be discussing a new system, a super connector of a kind, 
We'll be understanding a little more about perhaps where it came from. We'll be thinking about our responsibility as stewards of that system. And we'll be thinking about the future, shaping the future. Some of you remember that little recount we had here um, a couple years ago and um, the uptake who's uh, broadcasting tonight and archiving this uh, played a pretty important role. Part of our community. But what was important about that was that we got a chance for the first time to see what it meant to be able to have the whole world really watch. Not the whole world catching a few glimpses on the six o'clock news. Not the whole world being able to maybe see something on a weekend wrap up someplace, but literally for the whole world to watch. And folks stop me on the street in every little town in every little corner of this state and they say, I know you. And uh, I'm, I know I'm in trouble then. And then they say, you know, sometimes they like the outcome and sometimes they don't like the outcome. But here's what almost every person says to me. It says, what I really cared about was that I was able to watch and I could see that we have as great of a system of elections as we thought we had and that everyone involved was so full of integrity and clarity and the transparency that was permitted by the process really gave people then the kind of ultimate feeling that this is something that made them really proud. Now this could not have been done under other circumstances before we had the internet and digital transmission and the ability of people to be able to participate in our government in that special way. So I've had the privilege of seeing how the shape of the internet as it is today can be a fundamental force in providing a picture, in providing a comfort, in providing an understanding of the integrity of one part of the government process. And that gives me great hope that as we talk about and shape the future of the internet, and we talk about we shape the future of digital communications, that we begin to fundamentally transform this democracy. We have in inherited a fantastic democracy that can be so much better I believe that part of the future of the internet is a deepening, is a transforming of the democracy itself. Yes, it can make us healthier. It can make us more in touch with each other. It can unleash creativity of all kinds. It can do many things. But I also believe it can gather us and provide us with a different way of understanding how we act together in common, this thing we call our democracy. It may give us different kinds of information about what does it really mean to talk about liberty and justice for all. Tonight we have distinguished guests who've come thousands of miles. They're here to hear from you, and not just tonight, but as we go forward. Those of you here and those of you watching, our government in Washington and many other people in organizations everywhere and companies are asking for your input. Tonight is that opportunity. It's a chance for us to continue this dialogue. Hopefully, we'll come up with some things tonight that just might end up in a science museum show a thousand years from now or something like that. Thank you so much and thank you for being here.